Well, good morning. It's a chilly morning in Brenham, Texas this morning, but it's warm inside. Uh, our scripture today is found in Romans 14, uh, verse 12, and it goes like this. So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Years ago, it's many years ago, uh, our two oldest sons, uh, they was, uh, they went into the backyard and, and, uh, we had a big stockade fence all the way around the, the, the yard and they went in the backyard to play. And, uh, when they got out there, they seen potatoes of all things, just speckled all over the backyard. And uh, uh, they sort of wondered what in the world was going on. But anyhow, here comes some more potatoes. They was good potatoes. And they was rotten potatoes also coming across that stockade fence. So they, uh, they yelled over at the neighbor boy and said, stop throwing them potatoes over here. Well, that just sort of put fuel on the fire. And he began to throw them even more rapidly. So the boys was firing them back across at him and all of that. They finally gave up because he would not listen and stop throwing the potatoes. So what did they do? They got in the house and they got some BB guns for Christmas. And uh, there was just enough crack in between the, the boards of the stockade fence that they could see and uh, they began to shoot the young man uh, all over. And we, we didn't never know that until that evening when mom, his mom rung the doorbell. And uh, she, well, I, uh, Ramona opened the door and they walked in and this kid looked like he had the measles. I mean, he was speckled like a speckled pup uh, due to the BB. And uh, so we uh, uh, talked to the boys and we under I understood, mom didn't understand it quite as well, but I understood that they was protecting their property. They didn't want the rotten potatoes over in the backyard. But, you know, our scripture tells us that we will give an account someday. And when Satan starts throwing uh, all kinds of stuff across your fence, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to fire back at him? Because you can't win against Satan on your own. That ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. First Peter 5 and 7 says, Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. So what do we need to do? If the boys would have come in and told their mom, well, she would have called the boys mom and it would have been settled and nothing done. But no, they just going to do it on their own. You see, we can't fight Satan on our own. We need to cast all of our cares on Jesus Christ. He's the only one that cares and understands what we're going through because he's, he, he wrapped himself up in human flesh and was crucified. And he, was, uh, he allowed them to crucify him for you and for me. That's right. So we need to stop letting Satan throw rotten vegetables over in your backyard. Need to stop it. And the only way we can do, we can stop that from happening once we get on our knees. Cry out to God because he cares for us. And we tell him our troubles, our sorrows, our weaknesses. Because where we're weak, he's extremely strong. Okay? Well, I hope you got something out of this rotten potato story. May God richly bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.